Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Shazetta from Hill House Media. Hope that you guys are doing incredibly well. I uh, wanted to check in with you all doing a uh, bit of a test here. I almost said taste test, but it's not that. I'm just hungry. Um, but doing a bit of a test here. Uh, we promised you that we would continue to test some things. We took a break yesterday, and we're up working, trying to get uh, some things out to some people tonight, uh, finishing up the streaming toolkit so that that can hit email boxes in the morning. And then a couple of you are waiting on the video from YouTube for me, so working on getting that together. Um, but um, the two cameras that we have been testing over the last couple of weeks were the Lumix GX85, which are what you looking, which is what you are looking at right now. But then you also have the Canon M3, which was the budget version that we found used on Marketplace. It's several years old, and the lens we were using on it wasn't very clear. Um, and so we needed to pick up a new lens, right? But the lens, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on the lens because we're really not Canon people, but I needed something that was going to let in a little bit more light. And so what we did was we picked up a $60 fully manual lens, which I'll explain another day what that means. We picked up a $60 lens um, and put it on this camera that we picked up for $200 used on Facebook Marketplace. And so what I want to do is a comparison for you. Now the Lumix GX85 setup that we have right now is the camera and we've got a 25 millimeter lens on it. All together about a nine to nine hundred to a thousand dollar setup is what I'm looking at on you right now if you purchase it brand new. Alright? But the the Canon setup is um, is $260 essentially what we spent on it. Um, and so I want to show you the difference, right? There is um, a distinct difference in color, which you're going to notice in just a few moments, but quality is almost there. Keep in mind, the GX85 is a 4K camera, whereas the Canon is shooting in full, 80, in full HD 1080p. And so there's going to be a difference in resolution. But if you're just starting going from a cell phone or perhaps a webcam, this is a viable option, at least as far as we see it. All right, so let me do a... Um, a side by side for you guys give me one second I'm gonna bring this other here into the into the screen if I can there we are all right so you got the side by side on one side uh, you and you and you should be able to tell the difference what I've got you see you see a height difference between the two cameras but it's because I've got one directly over the other dr. Hill set one up one directly over the other for me so that we can see touch that touch the uh, the button for me again with the sleep app is the same there we are um, so that one is set up so that you get almost the same identical view uh, from it and so you see the one on your it's on my right so I think it's on your right too on your right um, is it, the, the picture is as clear and it's as sharp the colors just aren't as bright uh, and part of that is because Lumix um, and Panasonic just it just picks up colors better its natural colors are better um, the other thing is that I haven't done a lot of setting adjustments still in the Canon camera which is why I just went to sleep it's set to go to sleep after a few moments of sitting still and so I've got it uh, set to go to sleep so he may have to push the button again if it says no signal on it. it's just because I've set I haven't set the timers like I should but this is um, it's, it's a noticeable difference if you're looking at it side by side, but the honest, honest truth is that if you're not looking, um, if you don't know to look for something different, if you had never seen the GX85, this is an actually a much clearer picture than you'll get from a webcam, most of the time from a cell phone, um, and there's still some adjusting in the settings that can be done. But this setup cost $260, and I probably could have gotten it for cheaper if I had haggled the guy down a little bit more on the camera body, but I was just trying to get it, and it's a, it was a really good, it was a steal for the camera, to be honest. But $260, um, as opposed to... Um, as opposed to the nine, the nine hundred dollars setup. When you're talking about going from budget, which you'll hear about in our in our um, toolkit, and I apologize for for my my lag and, st and stuttering my voice. I'm just a little bit tired, but um, the the idea is that you go from effort to excellence, which is kind of the mantra that we are adopting. You go from, from e effort to excellence, right? And so you're putting forth the effort and as you can in terms of team, in terms of capability and finances, then you step up as you can, right? So assume that you go from your cell phone or web camera to this, to this camera here, to this one right here, it's a noticeable improvement. It's still really clear I, and, I, and I can make the picture better. In this camera, if I had spent more money even on another lens, the sharper the image would have been sharper. But the lens that I got, it's a cheap sixty dollar lens, but it's still a very very clear, clean, crisp picture running through the eCam software. Right, I've got it connected by HDMI cables going into the capture card into my computer, and so it's a solid option for two hundred and sixty bucks. And it's 
it's going to last a lifetime as forever as if, as ever long as you decide to use it and then say you you find another thousand dollars laying around somewhere and you go add this second camera angle then the, this new camera you don't get rid of the canon you use it as a second camera angle up near the pulpit or by the musicians or something like that so you're able to switch back and forth to see di different camera angles and so you start where you can right this canon side 260 bucks and i'm telling you i've got another body that i'm looking at on facebook marketplace if the, if the guy still has it i'm gonna haggle him down uh, a, a little bit more i may be able to pick up this canon camera touch the button for me again i may be able to pick up this canon camera for as little as 100 bucks um and so i'm gonna gonna wrestle and see see what i find but i wanted to show you guys the side by side to give you a reasonable comparison of what you will spend between the month what, what you what you can spend and what you can get now again you can still use your cell phone if that's what you desire to use and be fine if that's all you want to do but if you want to step your game up we've got two tripods set up uh over here let me see if i can give you an idea of the setup let me plug in my cell phone to uh to the software and see if it'll pick up that third angle for me real quick Give me one second i love ecamm y'all letting me letting me plug in um letting me plug in my uh my phone um to this software and it pick it up as a camera angle because it really helps me when i'm showing you guys uh stuff so let's see if it picks it up for me uh, midway or not i don't know if it's gonna pick it up while i've got the software going live at this moment or not so we'll see we'll see what happens in a minute if it does or if it do or don't as they say there we go third camera angle is popping up here all right so let me show you guys excuse them as we're working um but here we are so i've got two um and we're setting up the living room for uh church on sunday um so we've got two cameras that are back to back uh right here um they're they're set up so the, the camera cable runs here and then over and into uh into the into the camera I mean, into the into the computer right and so the setup is right here in front of me we've got the two it's two ve it, like legit viable camera options they're sitting right in front of me probably i guess about six feet from me um and yeah and both both of these cameras you can get used um the gx85 is a little bit more uh difficult to to get used um there we go the GX85 is a little bit more difficult to get used. The Canon M series, you can get used pr pretty pretty good. The GX85, if you purchase it um, using one of the links we can provide for you, it comes with the two lenses um, that will cover the focal length for most churches, and most churches are reasonably well lit, and it, it should be sufficient for you. But, guys, this is two very viable options on two totally different ends of the spectrum in terms of budget, right? You've got $1,000 um and 200 250 bucks um and it gets you gets you I, either of these is a reasonable setup and as you as you see even with me moving my hand you're not getting a whole lot of blur the to me the picture is sharper on the lumix but the picture on the canon i would be comfortable i would be comfortable using for most things um and so just a place of consideration for you guys i'm going to get off of here it's not a long stream tonight um just wanted to share that with you as we discovered it uh dr j pointed out the fact that we got the new lens in a few days ago and hadn't tried it out and showed it to you guys and so I wanted to show you push the button again for me um, I wanted to show you guys um, the option for for those of you that are just joining um, I haven't changed the settings in the Canon camera still and so it's going to sleep on me um, as I'm as I'm recording and so um, or as I'm streaming because I'm not recording right now so anyway hope this was helpful for you guys hope it provides you some insight but also some encouragement that even if you don't have a large budget you can get started reasonably well. And we are uh, beginning to offer the service of helping you. If you are looking for specific items, then we will begin offering the service to help you procure the items that you're looking for, um, especially if you're shopping uh, used. If you're shopping new, uh, we can provide you with links um, to things that, that we would use, and we get a percentage of whatever you purchase through Amazon. Um, and then if you need help finding used items, we can help with that as well. All right, guys, I'm getting off of here. Still got a long way to go before the night. Um, as, as the, uh, the poet says, um, and miles to go before we sleep. And so I've got a long way to go, uh, before I hit the bed tonight. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Hope this has been helpful. I hope that you are as excited about Sunday morning, uh, as we are, I have the, the privilege of being a part of, of a couple of worship experiences, uh, on Sunday or
and to be a part of actually several worship experiences uh, on Sunday. And so I'm super excited about, about that opportunity. So listen, be blessed. Hope you guys are well. We'll talk to you soon. We'll holler back at you. Have a great night.